The quickest way to reach 1000 subscribers on YouTube is by posting YouTube shorts, and I have evidence to support this. However, it's important to note that it's not as simple as it may seem. There's a right way to do it, and there's a wrong way. Here is the right way. For instance, on a new channel I recently started with zero subscribers, my first YouTube short got 4000 plus views in the initial 21 days, not bad. Trying it again with a second short, it gained 17,000 views in the first 19 days. Wanting to improve, I experimented with a completely different approach for the third short. In the first hour, it received 66,000 plus views, and to date, it has accumulated over 1 million views and 4,000 subscribers. Had I posted such shorts from day one on my channel, I would have reached 1,000 subscribers in just a few days. Although it took me longer to reach my first 1,000 subscribers on this channel, I believe I can help you achieve it even faster. YouTube shorts are currently favored by the algorithm, resulting in more views compared to regular videos, especially for beginners. What many don't know is that shorts actually convert more subscribers than long-form content. Here's the evidence. On that channel, a regular video gained thousands of views in the first 30 days, resulting in 1,000 plus subscribers. In contrast, a YouTube short may hit a million views in the first 15 days, gaining 4,000 plus new subscribers on that short. The results. The results show that my shorts get three times more subscribers than my regular videos. The first two shorts didn't do well because I didn't put much thought into them. I used the AI clip method, I didn't edit much, just pulled content from my long videos, and used AI to generate the short form clips. They did okay initially but didn't perform well over time. For my third short, I took a different approach. I spent extra time creating it from scratch, focusing on the script and edits. It took more time than just using AI clipping from long-form content, but it was worth it. Let me explain exactly what I did and how you can do it too. Alignment. Here's how to do it. First, align your short with your audience. Make sure it matches the interests of the people who already watch your videos on YouTube. This is important because YouTube suggests your short to viewers who watch your channel's videos. You want these initial viewers to be interested because they influence whether YouTube promotes your video to more people. For instance, if your channel is about cooking, ensure that your YouTube short is related to cooking to attract the right audience. Research. Now, for the second step, start by doing some research. Look for popular short videos in your area of interest that are getting a lot of views. Study them carefully. Take notes on things like the themes, editing style, pacing, text, and music. Analyze how these elements are put together and the length of the videos. Identify what works well in your niche. For example, I discovered a specific format that worked great for cooking content, so I decided to use the same format for my video. Moving on to step 3, brainstorm ideas. Consider what your viewers would enjoy watching just like you would for a regular long-form video. Then, create a video that caters to the interests of the majority in your niche. A helpful tip to gain more views is to leverage trend surfing. Include influential keywords, names, or brands in your title and video content. This can significantly boost your visibility. Scripting. After you've come up with your idea, the next step is to create a script. Keep it brief and to the point, avoiding unnecessary details. Shorts should be fast, so aim to convey your message quickly. If you have a lengthy script, consider using ChatGPT to summarize and shorten it. Moving on to step 5, now it's time to film your short. The equipment isn't crucial for shorts, but prioritize good audio over video quality. If possible, vary your shots by moving around and filming in different locations to add some variety to your video. Editing. Let's talk about step 6, which is editing your video. The goal is to make viewers watch as much of your video as possible. For example, if your video is 60 seconds long, you want them to watch the entire thing. If it's a shorter 10 second video, you want them to watch it repeatedly to increase the average view duration. 
I have a helpful method called the loop method. It's when the ending of your video syncs with the beginning, creating a seamless loop. This involves planning during the scripting phase, where the script starts with a sentence that concludes in the second half of the video and ends with the first half of that sentence. During editing, consider the optimal length for your video. I aimed for a longer short, around 40 to 60 seconds, with the goal of keeping viewers entertained. However, if you find yourself extending content just to make it longer, it's better to keep it shorter. For instance, my 45-second video had an average view duration of 41 seconds, and the analytics showed people re-watching the beginning after reaching the end. Final thoughts. After editing your short and posting it on YouTube, here's a useful hack. Post long-form content as well. The YouTube algorithm is currently promoting shorts, and watching long-form content from a creator can boost the visibility of their shorts on your feed. Thanks for watching. I am Lucia, stay motivated. It's about the journey.